Hey, thanks for everyone joining. Uh, let's wait a few minutes uh, for other people to participate. Uh, for those that are on, you know, uh, as you can see, I'm here in San Francisco, sunny with the uh, Golden Gate Bridge background. Can you share with your chat where you're from? That'd be great. And as we do this, uh, I want to launch a poll to kind of really understand where people are shopping and what's their favorite store, favorite app. So again, uh, we're waiting a few minutes, uh, skip a couple of minutes while other people are joining. And if you, hey, nice to meet you from Charlotte. We have someone here from Charlotte. If you can put in the chat where, you, where you're dialing in from, that'd be great. And also put a post here as well to really understand where, you know, you are using, you know, what's your favorite app, favorite mobile app, you know, whether you're doing more necessary shopping such as toilet paper and wipes or more like grocery shopping or, or food. Nice to meet you, Scott from Canada. Let's give it a couple of minutes. And let's kick this off. All right, great. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's take a look at the result of poll here. We'll go ahead and share the results. And I, I guess as, as expected, I think uh, Amazon's a clear winner here. Uh, with second, which is Uber Eats, which is so basically everyone's either shopping on Amazon or shopping for food. Great. Hey, thanks again uh, for joining our webinar today. My name is Stan Sito. I'm a senior solution architect here at Blue Shift. Today we'll be talking about how you can activate your real-time data, customer data online, to number one, drive more meaningful conversation with your customers, to increase customer engagement, and three, be able to use this data to create better and more loyal relationship with each one of your customers. And this is even more important in today's environment, as you know, with shelter in place over the last three months, people's shopping behavior has dramatically shifted over from going to shopping malls, to brick and mortars, to really shopping everything online, whether it's Amazon for the necessities or toys or games, or you know, going to Instacart to you know, do the grocery shopping without going to store, grocery stores, or as you see, you know, shopping for food. And with this, is, with this in mind is critical to be able to leverage and activate all your real-time data so that the right message is being sent to the right person at the right time, especially in today's challenging environment. So uh, the agenda we have today, I'm gonna spend a few minutes going through Blue Chef. I know some of you probably have not um, heard about Blue Chef. Secondly, we'll talk about, you know, show a platform, demonstrate the, of the platform and walk you through a use case where we're bringing in e-commerce data and how we can activate on that. And third, we'll go through some Q&A. So as we're going through this webinar, feel free to put in your question in the Q&A and we'll use the last five minutes to answer and address your questions. So let's talk about Blue Shift. Uh, for those that don't know Blue Shift, Blue Shift provides a customer data activation platform that allows brand to scale intelligent communication across every channel, powered by our AI machine learning technology. As you see here, we work a lot of different companies across different verticals and industries. Many of them have a strong online presence, such as a couple of, such as Groupon and Slick Deals, where customers today are going there to find the right deals and coupons. And backed by some of the leading VC investors here, we've been validated by some of the top analysts and marketing firms, such as Gardner and Forrester's. Our platform has also been voted and validated by our customers to be a leader in the CDP and marketing automation space. Our cl clients also trust us for the data. And we allow our clients to sleep better at night by ensuring that we're at the forefront in terms of meeting local compliance, such as GDPR in EMEA, and CCPA here locally in California. We also meet the needs of our enterprise customers by being SOC 2 compliant and also HIPAA compliant for our healthcare customers. Blue Shift provides a very flexible uh, framework that allows you to integrate any of your systems. Here's a quick snapshot on the right of all the different partners we integrate with, and we are continuously adding more partners to this ecosystem. Uh, a couple that I wanna highlight here, are the leading uh, e-commerce solutions such as Shopify Magento, 
And as part of the demo, I'm gonna show you how you can bring in that real-time data to engage a customer based on their interaction. So how does this work? So BlueShift takes your first party data across all your different data sources, whether it's known or anonymous data, we create unique individual profile, in this case, Eric Chen. BlueShift then uses our AI to make prediction, such as predicting what is the likelihood of Eric making a purchase, what product to recommend Eric, what's the best time to engage Eric, and what are the next best channels to engage him. In this example here would be email, push, and social ads. We then take all this rich customer data and using our sophisticated campaign orchestration tool, Marketer can now create, you know, customized one-to-one -one personalized campaigns. In addition, BlueShift automatically captures all this customer engagement data across these different channels, automatically feed this in real time back to our system so we can continue to optimize and make better predictions on our customers. And most importantly, we do this at scale across every individual, whether it's Eric, Erica, Samantha, and so forth, so that the right message at the right time in the right channel is being sent to every single individual. And there is no limitation to the amount of data we collect. In fact, the more data you send us, the better our uh, platform works. So let's go ahead and uh, take a, you know, go into the platform and I'll walk through a demonstration. So as you see here in this example here, we have a Blue Show Commerce a store that has you know, different e-commerce, in this case, computers, TVs, camera. Let's go, let's go ahead and create a profile here. So I'm gonna go and do the profile here. I'm gonna create an account. Go ahead, go ahead, create this. And if I switch over to the BlueShift platform, let's go ahead and find this user. As you see, it's automatically created. We created one minute ago, so it's real time being so pushed through our integration with Shopify. Let's go back to the profile and let's actually kind of uh, browse and add some product to cart and look at the overall experience. So we'll go back to the platform. In this example here, I have a lot of free time here at home. I want to upgrade my Sort of entertainment center, I need to upgrade my TV. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the TV category. I already have a Samsung, great experience with that. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and maybe add, you know, add a new Samsung TV. So this one looks like a great deal. I'm gonna add this one to cart. This one, nah, this looks okay. I'm not really too sure the deal is not that great. Let's take a look at this one. This seems a little better. I'm gonna go ahead and add this one to cart. I've added this, these two to cart, but really I wanna look at a much bigger TV. So the 23 inches is probably not sufficient. But as you know, before we go to check out, you know, life happens, you know, I get called in, to have to do another meeting or have to start cooking and I forget, you know, to make this purchase. So how, we, uh, how do we engage this person to get them to make that purchase? But if I go back to the, profile here, you see in real time as I refresh this, you see the products that Stan has viewed, what he added to cart, which one he has removed to cart. And next we'll see how we can use our recommendation to personalize the content with, this, with what he's added to cart and also recommend using our AI machine learning to predict other products to recommend to Stan. And we'll still, so after that, let's we'll take a look at how you can build a cart abandon series that uses multi-channel both in email and S and also push. So let's go ahead and do recommendation tab here. In this case, let's go ahead and create a cart abandon. Using the event add to cart, I'll remove everything that Stan has purchased. I can also remove, automatically remove things that are out of stock or any past purchase. This example here, these are the product that Stan has Add it, let's go back to the one that I just created, which is demo. So this again, reflects all the products that Stan has added to cart, but have not purchased. We can then take this even step further and use our machine learning to predict other products to recommend 
to stand. So we'll go ahead and use the event, which is add to cart. And again, using our AI machine learning, we can do things where recommending next best products to purchase, next best products to view. So let's go ahead and use the next best product to view to purchase. We can also using our AI backfill. So let's say for example, there aren't other products to recommend in that same category. We can also backfill with the top, you know, either view products, tap selling product converting, this is all completely customizable based on our client's need. So in this example here, let's go ahead and backfill with the top selling products. Again, as you see here, it's reflective of you know, all the you know, previewing the different users. As you see, these are the products recommended to Stan. Next, let's take a look at how we can incorporate this into an email template and to make it more personalized. And we'll go into the creative aspects. We'll go ahead and add this recommendation into the abandoned cart template. Yeah, you see here, we're going to show the product that Stan has added to cart, but also I'm going to show other products to recommend. I'm going to include the cart abandoned that I just created. I'm going to go ahead and save this template. I'll go ahead and preview this. In this example here, we're looking at another user. This is a product that Stan also has added, in this case, the Philip TV. Here are some recommended products for Stan. If I switch this over and take a look at the user I just created earlier, which is the demo. You see this is automatically reflected with what he added to cart and other recommendations as well. So let's take this further. And now that we've included recommendations, we personalize that, use that recommendation in the email template. Let's walk through how we create a, a multi-step, multi-channel drip campaign for this card abandoned series. Go ahead and create in this here, an uh, event trigger campaign called this card abandoned. I'm going to use the event in this example here to add to cart. I'm going to add the first trigger, which is a card, an email. I'm going to send it two hours later after someone added to cart. I'm going to go ahead and add this first creative that we just updated. But let's take a step further. Rather than just setting a, you know, an email template here, with the recommendation, maybe you want to do some testing. So I can easily do A-B testing subject line, do a 50-50 split, so we can optimize the performance of this creative. So should it say, Stan, you have left a few items, or Stan, your, your items are still available, still interested. We can then do a follow-up on this email. So in this example here, I'm going to wait two days. I'm only going to send this email if they engaged on the previous email. So this is where we're leveraging all that engagement data that we're automatically capturing. So if someone has viewed a previous message, I'm going to go ahead and send a follow-up email. Now, I can also take this step further. Rather than send everyone the same e email with the same promotion, we can actually cater this based on their likelihood of purchase. So again, using our AI machine learning, we can start predicting the likelihood of someone to make a purchase. So for those people in the top quadrant, top 25%, you may want to send them an offer that is a lower promotion. So in this case, Stan still interested, take 5% off. Similarly, for those people in the you know, bottom three quarters, I'm gonna send it two days later. Again, checking if they viewed a previous message. And now I'm looking at the other two third, three quarters for those people that are less likely to make a purchase. These people need a little bit additional incentive. So what I'm gonna do is offer them 15%. So let's pause here quickly here. Again, 
this is a great way where you can optimize and basically increase the margin of every sort of order and purchase rather than giving everyone the 15% off, which a lot of e-commerce companies do. We can use the prediction that our uh, platform is providing. For those people on the left, that is likely to purchase, we'll only offer them 5%. For those people that are less likely to purchase, we need to give them a little bit of incentive so we can in increase the offer here at 15 rather than giving, giving everyone a 15%. Let's take a step further. What if email is not a channel to engage in? This is where I can you know, incorporate other channels. So here I can say, let me add a push. I'll send it similarly two days later. And let's take a step further. If I change this advanced setting, we can even further optimize. So not only send it two days later, we can send it them to the right time. So this is where we're using what we call engaged time optimization to say, not only am I gonna send it to them two days later, if they, if in this case, a push, I'm gonna send it two days later based on that person's most engaged time. Here, I'm gonna check in this example here, if they haven't viewed the previous email, so where email is not working, and now I'm gonna send them a push notification. So again, let's review what we just saw. This is a, a drip campaign based on the event trigger. In this case, the add to cart. Step one here, we send a banning cart two hours later. We're doing A-B testing based on subject line. Step three here is we're sending two, you know, both an email and a push, but we're splitting the email based on propensity to purchase and giving different offers to optimize the ROI and margin of each offer. And if the email is not working, we'll send them a push notification. And you can see a quick snapshot of this workflow here. So let's go back and take a look here. And before I move on, uh, I want to have another poll, start another poll, and really understand based on your customers, has anything changed from their expectations over the last three months? You know, it would be, uh, be great to kind of get a feedback uh, from the, the, the attendees here. All right, let's take a look at the results here. I think it's evenly split here. Uh, evenly split here, you know, some, some people, there's no difference. Some are more uh, price conscious given the time we're in right now. Some are expecting faster feedback um, just because, you know, we're always on. And this is a great segue to the next aspect. We just recently launched a benchmark study, which I'll share later at the end of this webinar. We looked at over 15 billion event trigger message across all our users, and we found really four key highlights and results. Number one, we saw that there was a, almost a 500% increase engagement based on using real-time trigger, based on using real-time data versus using batch and blast and weekly promotions or, you know, or monthly promotions. What's even more staggering is if you look at re sort of mobile triggers, whether it's SMS, in-app, or push, there's a 3x increase, in this case, 15% increase engagement based on sending, you know, batch and blast type of mobile triggers. In terms of uh, personalized content, we saw our customers have a, over almost 120% increase in terms of using recommendations and doing more personalization versus static content. And we saw customers having an increase of about 280% when they start using a multi-channel strategy versus a single strategy using email. With that, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at Q&A, see if there's any questions. Yeah, I see a couple questions. Uh, one of the questions, how long does it take to integrate with Shopify and Magento? What is the process? As you saw, it's really easy to do. It's really just a couple of steps, setting up some credential on both the Shopify and Magento side and also on the BlueShift side. And immediately the real-time data coming from the catalog, the transaction order information, and also real-time behavior, as you saw earlier, is automatically synced in real time. 
Another question is, uh, we don't have a lot, a huge product catalog. Uh, would recommendation still work? And we'll see what's applicable to us. So uh, in our system, catalog can be very flexible. So even if you don't have a huge catalog, maybe you only have a couple of products, you may have other content that you want to recommend. It could be UGC content that your users have generated. It could be blog content. So imagine the catalog can be flexible, not only in terms of product catalog that you saw in this demonstration, but it could also be other uh, blog content that you want to use to personalize that your user experience across the other you know, email or other channel to get them back to your website. I think those are all the questions we saw there. Again, thank you for your time, uh, spending the last 30 minutes with us. Uh, if this piques your interest, feel free to sign up on the link below, blueship.com slash custom dash demo. One of our subject matter experts will follow up to get more specific needs or requirement and we can create a custom demo for you. As I mentioned earlier before, earlier before, here is a link to our trigger-based marketing uh, benchmark study that we just launched. So feel free to download that and you know, take a look at it and we'll be free, you know, open to answer additional questions. And lastly, we're, do, we're doing these uh, bi-monthly public webinars. So look, look to our website to blueshifts.com slash events to see more of these upcoming uh, webinars. Uh, thank you for your time and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.